And now, Alphabet Soup, a feast of letters. Written and illustrated by Scott Gustafson. Otter had just moved into his new house. It was empty except for some dust and a big old soup pot. I should have a housewarming party, he thought. But what will I serve? Then Otter had an idea. Soon he was sitting on the floor writing invitations to 26 of his closest friends. Dear friends, please come to my house for a potluck party. I have a pot, and if I'm lucky, you will all bring ingredients for soup. If you don't have food that's soup-worthy, then just bring food that you like. Come as you are. Your friend, Otter. And this is who came. A. Armadillo and Asparagus Armadillo was an award-winning anchor who aimed asparagus arrows into the pot. B. Bear and Bread Bear was the very best baker who baked the most beautiful breads, braided bread and brown bran muffins, buttermilk biscuits and buttery buns. All these were bundled into big baskets and brought to the banquet by Bear. C. Cricket's Cracker Crane Cricket chirped cheerfully as his crane chugged with its load of crackers for the chef. D. Dragon and Desserts Dragon didn't do dinner, so he delivered dozens of delicious desserts instead. E. Elephant and Eggplants Elephant enjoyed eggplants, which he carried in the folds of his elegant ears. F. Frog Fixed Flapjacks Frog had a flare for flapjacks, which he flipped and flopped in the frying pan. G. Gibbon's Garlic Garden Gibbon's gift was garlic, which he gathered from his garden in a golden goblet. H. Hedgehog's Herbs Hedgehog hooted his horn while he hula-hooped. He also held herbs in his high hat. I. Inspector Ibex Ibex insisted on inspecting all the ingredients before they went into the soup. J. Jaguar Jams and Jellies Jars just jam-packed with jams and jellies were jauntily juggled by a jolly jaguar. K. Koala, Kumquats, Ketchup, and Krill Koala was kind of kooky. In a kerchief, she kept kumquats, ketchup, and krill. L. Lion's Lentils Lighthouse Lion licked his lips and laughed. I love lentils, loads and loads. M. Mole's Mushroom Mine Mole mines marvelous mushrooms. Mmm, mmm, he says. Me thinks a meal's a mess without him. N. Newt's Noodle Net Newt was a nearby neighbor who brought a net full of 99 noodles. O. Owl, onions, and okra. Owl offered oodles of onions and okra and hooted out opera as well. P. Pigs, potatoes, parsnips, and peas. Pig was a princely porker who proudly paraded his platter of potatoes, parsnips, and peas. Q. Quail and Quinces A quart of quality quinces was carried by Quinella, queen of the quails. R. Reptiles Rutabagas Rutabagas roasted ranch style! 
was a recipe of a rough-riding, rip-roaring reptile. S. Squirrel's Salad Squirrel stuffed his ship full of scallions, spinach, seasonings, and so on. Then he set sail in a salad bowl. T. Tiger's Things Tiger had a truckload of things, a table, a toaster, teacups, toothpicks, and a teapot. U. Unicorn and Utensils Unicorn, upon his unicycle, carried unusual, yet useful, utensils in an upside-down umbrella. V. Vegetables via Vol Vegetables have vital vitamins, said Vol, and I've got a vast variety available in my violin case. W. Weasel's Wieners Wonderful wieners walked the wings of Weasel's wizard wagon as he entered with the whoosh of a whirlwind. X. Ox and Xylopia Extract Exported from Xanadu by one extraordinary ox, the excellent extracts of the Xylopia fruit made the mixture exciting and exotic. Why? Yaks and yams. Yippee! Yahoo! yodeled the yellow yak. These yams are yum yum yummy! Z. Zebra and zucchini. A zesty zippy zucchini is exactly what Z zoop deeds, said Zebra as he dropped one into the pot. As the pot full of ingredients simmered on the stove, Otter and his guests laughed and played party games. Finally, it was time for someone to taste the soup. They all held their breath while Otter sampled a spoonful. How would it taste? Was it going to be okay? It's delicious, said Otter. Everyone eat! The animals had lots of fun eating the soup that they had all helped to make. But no one had more fun than Otter, because his old friends made his new house feel like home. (laughs) ¶¶